that time I took on meditation. When do you meditate? 20 minutes a day in the morning and at night. I meditate before I hosted the Oscars. I meditate before I go on stage. I meditate in the morning and lunchtime when I'm on a film set. I'm a way different person from when I began meditation. Wow. Well, I'm completely different. It just, it's like a kickstart for your day. Mm -hmm. It just centers you and things, your stress levels are just down and you find yourself interacting in the world much easier and better and, um, and in a calmer way, and there's just a, p a peaceful joy. Years ago, when I was doing uh, Andy Kaufman, I learned how to meditate, and, uh, and it's been very valuable. It's a system of, uh, of teaching yourself how to get into a state of relaxation that, that affects your entire life, and uh, the quality of your life. And uh, I do it, I've done it for a while, and uh, I recommend it highly. Yeah, and I, I love meditation. Yeah, what does it bring to your life? Well, I'm kind of high strung, so you know it's easy to get anxious, but it really just calms you down. It helps you find that peaceful place inside yourself. So whenever your life is going a bit crazy, mm -hmm. it just reminds you to be really mm -hmm. centered, yeah, I guess. Peaceful. Yeah. And that did 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night. And I would say within um, 14 days, three weeks, I got to the point where I really could disconnect my mind. Uh, and I really felt kind of it was one of the things where, uh, you know, transcendental meditation was kind of anxiety and pressure meeting around the corner, tranquility. Meditation is an incredible way of just sort of centering myself and calming myself. And for me, I felt much less panicked and anxious and um, calm about things. But I also felt sort of deeply centered and, and rested. So everyone in my life meditates. I am a big proponent of meditation. And for radio, I feel it added tremendous creativity and having that morning and afternoon, in fact, to this day, after I do the radio show, my head is pounding so bad from yeah. the headphones and, and the loud noise and five hours of headphones and talking. I mean, it's exhausting. Right. I go and I meditate and I walk out and I have the whole rest of my day. And it's, I'm a new person. I know. I don't, I don't think I could really live without it. The amount of rest restoration that comes to you, the benefit across your life, it ch has changed everything. To have that tool now and to be able to go inside to the deepest part of myself and to access that and to recharge my battery internally within myself, I feel so badass. So for the last few years I've been practicing meditation, trying, and it's, uh, it's difficult to describe the effect it's had on my life. I can only mention maybe a few words, calm, clarity, a balance and um, at times a recognition, and it's made a difference. To me, it's uh, the most rest. It's like the most power nap you could ever get. Yeah. This tool helps me find moments of peace because I don't have a whole lot of time that extend my day so I can live like full, my fullest capacity. So I want to talk to you about TM, which I have now been doing 41 years, 40, 41 years. And I do remember the very first time I did it, and I remember that I was up the entire night because I never felt that good before. I'd been hearing about TM for years, so this summer I decided to learn it along with my staff in Chicago. LA and New York. I talked about it when I was on Dr. Oz's show. You can't imagine what's happened in the company. People who used to have migraines don't. People are sleep sleeping better. People have better relationships. People interact with other people better. It's been fantastic. I've been practicing for 40 months. It's really, really beautiful. I've found that there is an ever-present sanctuary within me and presumably if it's within me and with the other people who you'll hear talking later, it's within us all. It is the only time I have that stillness. It's the only way I've ever been able to sit long enough that I, I open my eyes and I'm sad that it's 20 minutes later. I, I actually love, and I never had that feeling before, late at night alone at an ATM machine, but that was not safe. Uh, I'm a great supporter of uh, transcendental meditation. I've been using it for uh, almost 40 years now. And uh, I think it has a, is a great tool for anyone to have uh, and to be able to utilize as a, a tool for, uh, for stress. 
I've been meditating for over two years. I was excited to meet kids who meditated. I was excited to meet kids who felt it was an important part of their day. It is. It's a lifelong gift. You know, it's something that you can um, call on at any time. Now it's actually coming into the mainstream. Uh, we think it's a great thing. TM brought peace and calm into my life and most of all a great community which brings love and support and I couldn't be happier to be a part of this. Now I've been practicing Transcendental Meditation or TM for nearly three years. About six months ago I decided to offer the technique to everyone on my team at the Dr. Raj show. I've seen the extensive research documenting its benefits and I've also seen so many people who I admire and respect incorporate Transcendental Meditation into their own lives and share it with the people that they care for.